Next up, let's talk about Warbands. Ah, it's happening. This could be cool. So Warbands are a system that we're introducing that will really be the representation of all of your characters across your Battle.net account. Uh, you know, Warbands are an opportunity for us to create a platform where you can share your achievements, resources, and all that other good stuff across all of those characters. So the goal of this system is really to be that representation of the philosophy shift that I mentioned earlier about really respecting the time of the player behind the keyboards and not those individual characters. Um, there's actually a ton of additions and modifications. We've talked about a few here. Um, there's no like singular UI screen that says Warbands. Uh, it's more of like all these modifications and updates and, and features are like kind of wearing a big coat that says Warbands on the back of it. It's, it's how I kind of keep it head in my, uh, straight in my head. Uh, but just to talk about a couple of those cool features, um, we'll actually be revisiting the um, transmog rules of how you acquire those, those appearances in The War Within. Ah. So for all of you <clears throat> who have... I see what they're doing. So you can get a so male means all of you piece on a leather had to run character. Four characters through all of those legacy instances just to make sure you're collecting all the appearances. Uh, that won't be the case anymore in War Within. You'll just be able to run it with one character. That's pretty cool. That's good. Uh, and oh yeah, uh, Holly mentioned this already, but this is obviously one that people are looking forward to. Uh, all of our reputations as well as renown in the War Within will be shared across your entire account. Good. Are they going to do that with the pass expansions? Because that'd be cool. Uh, last but not least, let's talk about hero talents. Uh, so here's a quick mock-up of what the UI will Ooh. look like that I think really helps explain how these integrate into our current talent trees. <coughs> uh, but really quick, let's take a look at how this will work. So there will be three new ta uh, hero talent trees per class and two will be available per specialization that you can freely choose and swap between. Uh, and also, this is another evergreen feature. This is a system that we think is gonna provide a new vector of choice and customization for you and all of your classes, as well as create opportunities for us to really dig into some of those core class fantasies that are you know, so amazing. This could be cool. So here, Talents will introduce these new, small, self-contained talent trees like you just saw in the UI. And the way I like to think about it is like, currently we have two types of talent points, right? We have class talent points and specialization talent points. And now in the War Within, there'll be a third type called hero talent points. So let's look at a quick example, which hopefully explains it a little bit more. This is a warrior, as you can see. These are the three hero talent trees that they'll have available, Mountain Thane, Colossus, and Slayer. And as cool. you can see in the top left, we have Protection, who will be able to choose between Mountain Thane and Colossus. Up on the right, you'll you see Fury. Yep, that's right. Mountain Thane and Slayer are their options. And down at the bottom, Colossus and Slayer are their options. So this is how the majority of our classes are gonna look in The War Within. The exception, of course, being <laughs> Druids and Demon Hunters, who are a bit special, so those will look a little different. Nice. So let's take a look at how you'll unlock the system, as well as how it'll, it'll feel playing through as you're leveling through The War Within. Uh, so the system will automatically unlock uh, at level 71, and it'll just kind of appear in your UI. You'll earn one talent point per level as you level from 71 to 80. And there are 10 talent points in total with several choice nodes along the way. So I like to think of this as being similar to like the Legion artifact, where as you were leveling and progressing, you were making some choices along the way, but ultimately you're gonna unlock the whole tree. Uh, and also I wanna be very clear here, these are uh, extremely low friction to swap between those choice nodes, as well as to swap between the different hero talent trees. So, you know, this should be very analogous to your current talent trees and will follow all the same rules that you used to there. So, you know, at the start of a raid boss, you know, before a Mythic Plus starts, before an arena match kicks off, and anywhere in between. And to wrap us up, I wanted to show off a really quick video of what hero talents look like in action. Nice. So this is a warrior, as you can see, popping avatar, jumping in. And this next one is that same warrior with the Mountain Thane talent tree. As you can see, Stormbolt hits multiple targets. There's a couple of cool new V effects and a lot of other cool stuff going on there as well. I heard some ooh. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> Our effects artists will be happy. So. <laughs> 
that about wraps us up for our what's next panel. That could be really cool. I, I want to see the Druid one. We hope you really liked what you saw here. And if you'd like to know more, please join us tomorrow at the Deep Dive panel where at noon, where Ian will walk you through some of what you saw today in more detail. Woo, Ian! As well as a bunch of other cool new stuff in the War Within. So thank you all so much. I hope you have a great BlizzCon. Bye. Cool.